This is NBC6 South Florida Today. When it comes to interior design, one of the things that often gets overlooked in our homes is our windows. But I got to tell you, if you're looking for a way to dramatically change the look of a room, the windows are really the place to start. And joining me now is designer Michael Saruski. Good morning. Good morning, Kelly. How are you? Great. Why are window treatments and windows so important? Um, without window treatments, I believe the room doesn't look finished. It remains cold looking. And as minimal as it may be, I believe it adds to the decor. I do, too. And I think a lot of people make the mistake here in Florida, given the fact that we love the sun, oh, yeah. we just leave everything blank. When you walk into a room, unless you're a designer like yourself, you notice something's wrong. But you're right, it's that lack of a finish touched. But where do we get started? Um, it really depends on the decor of the room. Um, some people are more casual, some people are more formal. Mm -hmm. So first you have to pinpoint your style. Um, if you're going for more um, natural feeling, mm -hmm. the first example I have up here, is a very inexpensive jute, which is cost four dollars at any fabric store. But you, you could dress it up by sewing an, um, a beautiful trim to the oh, end yeah. of it and just draping it to the side. And for very minimal money, you have a great window treatment or a room divider. That's beautiful. Now I notice you have everything aligned. That's a must, isn't it? Here in Florida, with the yes. intense sun, the sun will eat away at the backs of any types of window treatment. So lining is very important. And that way, if you put it over sort of a box window, you could have a jute box. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what's this one? This um, is pretty. This is a medallion type of application. Um, there's a f uh, photograph shown here and here of a finished product. The um, oh, sample yeah. in the front is an actual medallion. Mm -hmm. Here you can see um, a minimal uh, display of how the fabric would be wrapped. So right. you don't block a lot of the light from the window, but you're still framing it out to, to create a beautiful feeling. I've noticed every time I see the medallions, they remind me of a neoclassic. Can you mix this with something other yes, than neoclassic? Yes, they, they could be stainless steel. Is that they right? They could be something contemporary. Okay. So that, again, you have to pinpoint your style. I love the tassel. See how the tassel ties everything together? And remember when you talk about the finish of a room, let's say you have a, uh, a green sofa and some red chairs. These little tiny jewelry pieces, as I like to call them, really tie a room together, don't they? Yeah, it's the final touch. It, it, is, it is the piece of jewelry on it. You're um, right. Now look at this. This is actually a mixture. Am I detecting some bamboo over here? Yes, also so dealing pretty. with the more casual look. I like to mix different treatments together. So here you have a bamboo shade which is then has side panels in a coordinating fabric and tassel. So again, a little more casual in look, but uh, it's very interesting when you start mixing unexpected materials together. It's very masculine looking too. I like that. But it, the question is for me, if people can't really think this up, how much could you expect to pay a designer to come in and do this, including the materials? Well, the materials, there's a lot of sources out now where you can shop for materials that don't have to cost a lot of money. Um, you That's work, pretty as we look at it as a, at a Roman shade there. Right. Um, some of these fabrics you can get at uh, discount fabric places or you could work through your designer to be able to coordinate an entire room matching the bedding and the drapery or if it's a living room pillows and an area rug. Right. Um, this end product here is a Roman shade that can be used for more contem contemporary interior or for a Ooh, girl's look at room. That. Those are plantation shutters, aren't they? Yes, that's very an, popular here in South Florida. Yeah, another way to create a style in a room without making it look too heavy. Right, now that looks Florida without looking chintzy. Correct. Sometimes, oh, I have that lamp. See that neoclassic <laughs> lamp? I have that. It's in my garage because I can't put it in. I have French country. Now I don't know what to do with that lamp. If anybody needs a good lamp, um, but I love that lamp. And when I had neoclassic, that's what I used. Um, a lot of people feel like, especially those who have moved from the north, you can't use your heavy furniture and you can't have heavy window treatments. But really, that's sort of a myth, isn't it? That's not true. That's yeah. a very big myth in Florida. A lot of people mix. It all has to do with your personality, your style, mm -hmm. how you entertain. There's a, um, a photograph um, at the end there, which is a home here in Miami Beach where you would think everything would be nice and light, but it mm -hmm. is very, very traditional. Yeah. That's what the client wanted. And there's an example of the medallions with fabric Ooh, pulled back. I love that. Um, yeah, if you tilt up a little bit, you can see it right over here. It has love that. stenciled walls and it has um, very traditional furniture. So there are no rules. <laughs> I have to tell you, this looks exactly like my tiny room. <laughs> I have the Italian sort of... Uh, um, uh, what do you call that, sort of a sponge on the wall, and I do have the Romans, and that looks a lot like my chandelier. I love stuff like this, and you really don't have to be bound to any rules, do you? No, that, that's one of my big beliefs, is you really have to go with your gut feeling and the style you want to produce, and don't listen to anybody. You, you can create your own rules as long as it, it's look good and it's coordinated. Right. Now, what do you do? Come up with a budget first, or do you find what you like and then sort of try to adjust? Well, you kind of um, have to have a ball 
ball playing sure. um, of what rooms you're going to do and what what order. But um, yeah, you have to set a budget as to how much you're going to okay. allow for different materials and um, just have a drapery person come out and measure up and and they could kind of before you get started get an idea of how much it would cost. There you go and and just so happens that Mr. Saruski is one of those designers. His design studio is located at 3925 North Miami Avenue. For more information, you can give them a call at 305-573-6900 or check them out online. If you log on to our website, NBC6.net, and look for the link under South Florida Today, we will put you in touch with him. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And you've given me some great ideas. I'm pretty good with a sewing machine. Great. All right. All right. Now back to Bob, Lonnie, and Trina. All right, Kel. Thanks very much. Well, on opening day, the American Airlines.